my god, vlogging with a big camera is so much nicer. But it's so much work. It's summer, it's August, and you know what that means in Scarborough. It's Rip it! Rip us! So Rip us has been going on for, I don't know, like a thousand Don't know, years. we'll Google it and we'll insert it here. Like but years. No, not a thousand years. Yeah, they have Rip us in different parts of Toronto, but we're going to Scarborough. Uh, Rip Fest today, it's all weekend. Okay, let's try something new. Not but every day is so fun. I don't know fun. if it's, you can I mean, really see what's going like on. Tail. I don't know if it's like There's a... There's like two pigtails. Do you like it? Comment below. We're gonna do a ribs mukbang. Aziza's on her way over. The cornbread at Rip Fest is the best. Yeah, I know. It's like the best cornbread. I had it yesterday. It was so fucking good. But they also have tiny Tom donuts and they have like mm. these little stands and we're probably gonna get a couple things from there too. So yeah, we'll vlog when we're there. Bye! So we're here at... Is that a butterfly in your face? Why are there so many butterflies? Yeah, it's so fucking aggressive too. I thought they were supposed to be sweet. Jesus. We got Noah here. Okay, y'all, we're here finally. That walk was so long. Hello, everyone. We are Surround Sound. We are an acapella group from the University of Toronto. Barbecue chicken, corn, cornbread. Uh, this is already digging in. So these are pork, and this is chicken ribs. No, I mean beef. Beef ribs. Oh, Sorry. Chicken, chicken there. Yeah, we got chicken, some coleslaw. Chicken and then beef sausage. That's not a lot of coleslaw. Yeah, how much, how much meat? This yeah, is. I know, right? That's all they gave us. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And um, then we have these spices with lime, just to like for roll the, the corn in. Mm -hmm. And then did you show them the cornbread, cause guys. Rip Fest, I'm telling you, has mm -hmm. the best cornbread ever. Like, if you ever had cornbread, it doesn't compare to what they have. Because <clears throat> I think they're, they're actually from the States. So, like, they really yeah, know how to they compete. Cornbread. Like, they go, like, place to place. state to state, city to city, yeah. competing on who has the best ribs, chicken, like, everything. And this, so. these, uh, these ribs were from Bibbs Ribs, yeah. like, B-I-B-B-S. That's the stand. Yeah, and they're, like, number one 2017 ribs, number one 2016 ribs, number, number one, one 2017 <laughs> ribs. Can we dig in, like, yep. I need... A oh big piece of beef. Oh, I got kind of a small one, but. Guys, can we get a thumbs up for the presentation, please? We'll try it on Just like it. I came in and I was like, wow, look at that. Mm. Wow, this is so good. Oh, I'm taking a proper bite. Oh my god. I'm busy, I mean. Oh my god, we need a, a, a thing for all our bones. Mm hmm. Mm. Mmm. This might get sloppy. And this will get sloppy. Oh yeah. If you don't like uh, chewing and slobbery mm -hmm. sounds, then you probably shouldn't watch it. Click off. Mmm. Bro. For the longest time, I thought I didn't like ribs. It's so good. It's really like That's because I had bad ribs. It's a really hearty meal. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I also like, I was gonna I will never order this. You know what I mean? Yeah. You like ribs though, but you like steak. Like you like, I like meat. Well, yeah, I like meat. I'm like a man. <laughs> I don't really order ribs at restaurants anymore though. I feel like it's kind of dutty. <laughs> there needs to be real ribs for me to mm. like them. You know? Sure, for sure. I mean, you don't think for the bones because I'm mm. just supposed to bash this. Here. Oh yeah. Let's yeah, put that like here. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, those are cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is probably my favorite mukbang. This is really good. This tastes so good. I want chicken. Do I want chicken? Cornbread. Oh, that's what I want to try, but I feel like if I start eating that, I'm not yeah, you're full, done. right? I'm not gonna stop. Yeah. So let me just take a piece, and then that's it. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm, no. So I'm scared. No. Oh. No. This is amazing. You no, know, this is so. Guys, cornbread is literally mm. one of my favorite foods. 
Oh my god. It's too good. Oh no, I can't. I really shouldn't have taken a bite. No, <laughs> don't take any more. Don't take any more. You're gonna be full. I still get you thick. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah that's what they say. That's why Americans are fat. Whoa. I'm just like sweet. This is right so now. good. Sorry. I want some corn. Me too. Like, I want like. I'm gonna try it with this thing. Mm -hmm. Here, take it. Want half one? Wait, hold on. Yeah, if you can break it. I'm just sure. I'll have it right <laughs> Corn is really easy to break. Uh huh. Right here. Did you say uh huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we back home? <laughs> like, a sight. A sight. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, guys. So, sorry. On today's episode of Men Ain't Shit. <laughs> yeah, as you can see from the title. Is that the title today, be? Why, why men? men are trash? Uh. Why are men trash? Okay, in order to, you know, Dark break time. this question down, mm -hmm. we need to understand why men are trash first and what makes men trash. You know what I mean? So, but we don't know like a definitive answer. No, we, we don't. Know know. Okay, obviously this doesn't like apply to everyone. Mm -hmm. Not all men are trash. But like, every, no, I okay. I want to say <laughs> all men are trash. I've said this before. But not all men like act yeah. on their ability to be trash. Some you people know? just hide it better. Like the guys hide it better. Hide it better or like they choose not to be that way. But they all, have the, yeah, they all have the ability to be trash. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I like stand by that. Mm -hmm. So like let's like decipher what that means. I don't know. I was saying something on Twitter. I don't have so much corn in my teeth. I don't even care. It's like, yeah, I they can't see it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think they'll see it. They're saying how people, like guys in their twenties, like mid twenties, um, oh, like oh, like someone said, only losers like want to settle down, like in the mid twenties. Like I don't know why, but they were like, you don't want more. That's just fucking hard fucking backlog. Yeah, I'll get um full. full. I can't. But yeah, like stop drinking so much. Sorry, continue. Um, that is like niggas with no sh with nothing love to settle down and love to like that's not something on Twitter say but like niggas that have things going for them they never mm -hmm. want to settle they're down busy. they're too busy they're like mm -hmm. you know what I mean like their eyes are very open and because like, they're getting so much opportunities they're like always mm -hmm. searching for the next thing mm -hmm. which I feel like guys are always like doing too like girls are much more like. Yeah. Content well, with what yeah, they have. Yeah, mm. 100%. We're yeah. way more content what we have. Even, even though we know curious. we can do better. Like, even yeah. though some girls know they can do better, oh, like, they'll fuck. still settle. For what they have. Like, you know, like, but guys, they can do better, like, and they know that, they but they still look They still think they can do better. better. Like, men are so eager. They're optimistic. It's crazy. Yeah, they're 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 their ego. Yeah. Yeah. It no, it actually is. It's crazy. Like, you can't do better. Even with their cars, like, it's just like, a guy will rev their engine, and then like a, another guy will rev it even more and go faster. It's like it's such an ego boost for them. Like it's I don't know, it's adrenaline. Do that, yeah, it's crazy. Y'all yeah. need to fix that. What, women are much way, way more willing to compromise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Like I was even thinking about this the other day. Like women are so amazing. Like no, we're just more emotionally intelligent. Like we're just you know? smart. We're like. There's so many things that we can do, we that's give to people. You know what I mean? Like, mm. if you have a good woman in your life, that's like, it's such a good thing to have. Mm. You know? Like, mm. I mean, having a good man is nice too. But I'm just saying, like, in comparison, it's like, when I think about that other saying that's like, like, women like love so deeply mm. compared to like how men love, it's like unfair. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? But the thing is, like, women are also, we're very smart, but also because we have that, like, a lot of us have that super nurturing kind of generous characteristic it's like we know so sometimes we shouldn't be doing things mm -hmm. but like love sometimes our like caring innate caring caring like traits overpower our like logic emo, logic sometimes yeah. which is like like you that's know that thing. Mm -hmm. like, that's the one thing i'll say like for all this women are trash blah blah, mm -hmm. blah. sometimes yeah. women do allow it and sometimes and it's we allow it not because we're dumb but because of like pure like innocent like Pure like love and or yeah. pure like you know like purity. Mm -hmm. Women are so pure, you know. I also hate how men are expected to cheat. What do you mean? Right? Like, like it already gives the it's okay. Like yeah. What do you mean? Wait, what? I don't. That can't. Men are expected to like. It's not like okay. What I meant to say is women are expected to kind of. Um, it's just like okay, like know that I, a guy I, can cheat and it'll like mm, it's, it's not that serious. Yeah. 
Especially not, in the early not that years. serious, but it definitely is like it's like it's like option, it's gonna right? happen or like it's not gonna, but it could happen. It could happen, and you should be okay with that. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't think that's the thing. No, no because it definitely like, is. Sorry. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, like uh, if a woman, if a girl cheats, it's like whoa. Oh. Yeah, yeah like, oh. like ah. I'm talking about even like for certain celebrities, like Beyonce took him back, and it's like I'm not shocked at that. You know, that's crazy. You're right. You know, mm. I thought about it. But it's true, like every like, and especially if a man gets into some power or gets into some clout, it's like it's, it's you know he's gonna cheat. Especially if he's like you know a rapper yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah. It's like I believe that too, though. It's like it's not even just the expectation, but it's like that's how it's gonna be in though. society. Yeah, like that also. Also, women stop like <laughs> accepting, accepting it. Like that. Yeah, I feel like it's just a trend. Like even the celebrities. Yeah, because like, you know? people. The thing is, I will never. I will never like. I will never. Um, not a girl for going back. I realized. Really? really? Yeah. Really? I thought it was hard. What like, if, like, like, if you were like married to someone. Oh yeah, yeah. Kids. That's different. Yeah, I guess when there's like, or like, or like, if it's very, very. Serious? Serious? Yeah. <laughs> it's too much. Just leave it for later then. If you're like very like, it's definitely. Good if you're like very like, what's the word? I don't know. It's like it's it's like it's like if you're like Dependent? years years and no invested invested. I understand why it'd be hard, or like why maybe at first it's not your first instinct, instinct to leave them. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like if there's more years on it, that gives me more of a reason to leave. Yeah, for me, like, it's harder. I feel like, 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 like that's what, that's what it is. It's like, it's like more reason to stay, but also more reason to leave. So it's like, like mm -hmm. it's like harder. The conflicting feelings is like times a thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's kids involved, like I don't know. There you know, if there's kids, kids involved, I would I can understand why we, yeah. they'd stay. But if there's no kids involved and And you're young and I'm not like like I don't see myself going back. It's like you made mm, that choice to no, disrespect. No, hundred percent. I'm saying I don't knock other women. Even if they're like young and like can get somebody else and they don't have any ties to this man. No, like like unless you guys have money, property. But I wouldn't like. I'm just saying I wouldn't judge it. them. I'm just saying I wouldn't judge. I'm them. I'm not gonna judge them, but that's not. I'm not saying this, the decision that I would make, but I'm just saying like I wouldn't judge them mm -hmm. because it's like I feel like I, will I feel like a relationship. Yeah, like I'm saying like I would judge. It's them. very personal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like I mean, if, I, if, I, if, I, if the cheating was like out there, honestly, because my... you know me and my whole I don't want to be punk thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's like, that's the thing too. It's like punks. Like and it's like. But like how about worth? But how about if it was like they they weren't punks? Like it was under like you know what I mean? What do you mean? Like the old like nobody was, knew. Like nobody knew. I mean that does change yeah. things. That's because what I'm saying. Then people probably would change their mind knowing that nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the actual cheating part is not. It's like so much more beyond that. Mm -hmm. And guys are dumb and they think everything is surface level, so they're gonna be like, she like me meant nothing. Like that's not what I don't give a yeah. fuck about yeah. that. Like that actually could care less. It's like, oh, like you disrespected me. Like mm -hmm. you didn't think of me. Like. Mm -hmm. There's so many other things behind it. You disrespect the relationship. You wasted my time. Like, there's like so many like. like you're, things. I'm giving my life at yeah. this time. You know what I'm saying? I can't imagine myself taking back a guy that cheated, cheated on me mm -hmm. and living with them comfortably. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I bring that. I feel like even a lot of women. Every, every like, second. Why would you do that? To no. Me? Like, like, yeah. Like, 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 no, like, no, why would you do that? Why do that? What No, that's so rude. No, that's so rude. Yeah. Like, why did you do that? And I wouldn't want them in front of me. Like, just go. Mm -hmm. Crazy level will go up too. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, like and why? Know. They don't they don't deserve it. Like yeah. you know what I mean? It should be just way easier for you mm -hmm. to just live your best life. Also, yeah, like a lot of girls that do go back eventually probably leave because it's like Yeah, yeah I it probably so. it probably sits in them yeah. like Like probably you probably sit at night like Yeah like, staring like, at them like Like, like, this like, piece of shit. like okay. I hate you. Like you know yeah, you like, like I hate you. you. Yeah. Get out oh, of here. Do what do you believe? Like do you like think like I feel like Pity, uh, not pity. What am I talking about? Revenge is like definitely not the answer, though. Mm -hmm. I feel like that shows people that you care. Like that's just like again my thing. Revenge, is like, what do you mean? And it's also like you're not doing it for yourself; it's for the other person. Like you mm -hmm. want them to feel what you. Feel. Are you mean? Do you mean like you cheat on them? To no, 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 no. Oh, okay, never mind. No. What do you mean? I thought you meant that. No <laughs> shit. That's <laughs> what do you mean? Because right? then the relationship's done. Yeah. Like revenge is like people do that though. I like know, that's ridiculous. like I'll get back with you if you let me. Do yeah. something with someone else, yeah, and or then we can move on. That's so. Yeah, that's, that's a you. toxic ass that's relationship. Crazy. No, that's like the end of like that's mm -hmm. the beginning of a spiraling. Yeah, relationship. I would never want to like, do that. It'll just keep going. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you guys are just gonna hate yeah. each other. What are you guys gonna do? Here. Tick for tat, like. <laughs> oh yeah, talking about revenge, like breaking shit or like doing all oh. that. I feel like it's very unproductive. Yeah. <clears throat> 
You break their shit, you release some anger, and then like, And then what? And then, no, we're not in a movie, you guys. We no. call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Lucas told me, it's like, uh, if we don't got into a fight and you're like, burn my shit, scratch your crown, come. Like, you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> like, okay, fine. And realistically, that, you that makes like, sense. Oh, I feel lot. Like, yeah. yeah, I feel like I could see the <laughs> So, but that's what makes sense. Like, it's not gonna end up like a movie where he's gonna be like, damn, I deserve this. Like, nah, he's gonna be like, all right, bitch, you're gonna pay for this shit. Like, you know, and he's gonna call the police or he's gonna get some bit, some Okay, but not even like, not even that. Like, just like, trying to like fight him or like argue or cuss them or like all this other stuff. Like, I feel like all of that is unproductive. I feel like no, I need best... to tell you about yourself. If you cheat on me, I have to tell you about yourself, then I'm gonna go and that's it. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. Like, quickly, you know? Like, it's not, yeah. it doesn't need to be 20 minutes. Like, that, again, with my mentality of punking myself, mm -hmm. I just feel like you think I care. Mm -hmm. What is more hurtful than me finding out you cheated on me and never talking to you again? They're gonna say, where did she go? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's all, yeah. yeah. Then, yeah. then they're just left in the dark. It's mm -hmm. hard though, like, I can If I was left in the dark, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're in the closet, you're like, you're yeah. literally left in the yeah. dark, like, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. It's hard though, like, especially if you've been with somebody for a long time. To start to cut all ties? Yeah, to cut all ties because you built, like, a friendship with them mm -hmm. and, like, you kind of, like, they're part of your your life, like you know yeah, what I mean. Okay, it's like no, it's like a normal. shift, and it's like a quick shift. It's like you have to like adjust to not talking to somebody every day, or like not seeing somebody all the time, or having somebody like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But then when you remember, oh wait, that person cheated on me, it becomes a lot easier. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would yeah, yeah, yeah. help me. Yeah. But like if somebody were to break up with me for no reason, then I get confused. Then it's like harder mm -hmm. for me. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, if there's yeah, a yeah. okay, guys, sit down, bro. We're all done I'm kneeling. So all right. So thank you for watching our video on why men are trash while we ate a lot of ribs. Mm -hmm. Now, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow all of us on our social media. It'll be on the screen or in the description box below. Uh, turn on your post notifications to see or to, what's it called? To get alerted every time we post. And we'll see you in the next mukbang. Bye!